Oh, oh, I'd like to play a game. I would love to play this game with would you. Would you like to play a game? Given the Carolina Blue running deep yep. uh, with the, the roster, the most success that Carolina had was obviously in their 2015 season when they went to right. the Super Bowl. Yep. Okay? That team was heavily predicated on their defense. Mm-hmm. I mean, Cam Newton didn't throw for 4,000 yards. Yep. He didn't throw for 60% completion percentage. Yep. Sounds familiar. Right. But he did have 35 touchdowns to 10 picks, and he ran for 10 others. Right. Sounds familiar. Right. Uh, except for the 35. That was a lot. However, and they had a bunch of Smurf wide receivers. Ted Ginn. Sure did. Jericho Cotchery, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, flipping it over to the defensive side of the ball. Uh, this defense looks eerily reminiscent, although we must say, always, it's Leslie Frazier's, not John McDermott. Very true. The oversight right. by McDermott is big. Let's do a player-to-player comparison of that 2015 team <clears throat> yeah. defense versus yeah. the Buffalo I think that's very now. fair, right? Because yeah. we always talk about, oh, surprise, surprise, McDermott brought back another Carolina player. We're guilty. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. Um, but, I, yeah, I think that makes sense. So let's let's talk. Yeah. Let's roll. Want to start defensive line first? That's probably where a lot of the similarities are. So want to start with defensive line? That's where the game is won or lost, Paul. All right, item number one, a 33-year-old Jared Allen. You have a 32-year-old Mario Addison? I forgot Jared Allen was on the Carolina Panthers. I remember remember Jared Allen on the Vikings. I do not remember him on the Panthers. I remember him on the Panthers. I remember him on the Chiefs. I remember him on the Chiefs. I don't remember him on the Panthers. That's so hysterical, too. Yeah, Did you ever 33 see? Jared Allen, 33 year old Jared Allen versus a 32 Mario, Ad, 32 year old Mario Addison, who's going to be 33, right? Or a Trent Murphy. Do you think he'll play that side, or he'll play he'll play Hughes' side? Uh he will play. Hughes. Well, I think he'll probably play Hughes' okay. side. All right, all right. Next up, Coney Ely. Well, he's 24. Well, yeah, I mean, what? Let's let's just call it what it is, right? Yeah, Coney Ely was very highly talented. Right, he was. Um, now, mind you, Coney Ely was, uh, let's see here, started nine games. So there was kind of a little bit of a split. Um, there was a mix, right? So there were really three starters. Uh, the next one was Charles Johnson. Wait, you're telling me that Carolina played a defensive rotational front? Wait, can you believe it? I, I know, right? I, it's, hey, I who know. was the defensive line coach to? Oh, God. You know, the name sounds familiar, doesn't it? Eric Washington? Yeah, yeah. Who do the Bills have now? Oh, Eric Washington. Ding. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, so it was kind of a mixed uh, mixed group of starters. Jar- Jared Allen started so, 12 games. Coney okay. Ealy started nine. Charles Johnson started nine. And then uh, but Charles Johnson's very much like a like a Trent Murphy-style player. Yes. Right? Yes. Just a very nice player. Set your watch to him. Right. Very nice player. Um, not flashy at all. No. Okay, next you have Starlet Sulele. Nope. No mystery there. Yeah. Um, one sack. Quarterback must have fell or something. Shut your face. <laughs> Kwan Short. Here's where Ooh. this is where I say Ed Oliver is to Kwan Short because Kwan oh, okay. Short was the pressure guy. So who's the Coney middle. Ely then? Uh, Vernon Butler? Jefferson? One of those two? Yeah, I suppose you so. You have depth now, so it's interesting. Yeah, I would to see. suppose so. But there's um, remarkable similarities in the type of player. That all those guys are. Kawan Shore, right. Coney Ely, uh, Ed Oliver, Starla Tula. You know, all these guys bouncing back and forth. Right. Um, uh, yeah, because Kawan Short had 11 sacks that season. Um, mm. And that's really where you're expecting. Like, I, it was more Jordan Phillips. Yes. Right? More yes. Jordan Phillips than Ed Oliver. So you're kind of projecting into Ed Oliver a little bit. Uh, but if we we're going off of last year, Jordan Phillips would be. Yeah, would but be Ed Kawan Oliver Short. being in there more. Uh, and with a year under his belt, I feel right. he can put up those numbers that Kawan Short did. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we're basing it off of this year's roster, not last year's roster. No, no, no. This year's roster. This year's roster. Yes. Okay. All right. Because if we're going off last year's roster, then you could t- don't. <laughs> <laughs> then Kawan Short would be uh, Jordan Phillips, and Coney Ely would be Ed Oliver. That's if a we're stop. Okay. All right. Uh, next up, the middle linebacker, linebacker Luke Keekley. Tremaine Edmonds. He's got to be. Yeah. He's got to be Tremaine. Uh, Thomas, Even, no, wait, no. Where did where, where, where Keekley go to college? Boston College. Where'd Milano go? Boston College. I know. They're, they're Stop really, me if you heard this. I know. 
<laughs> you're right. You're right. Um, so you're saying that Keekly is more Matt Milano. I mean, it's a, by a player comparison, I suppose. No, I because the other linebacker but, was okay. Thomas Davis, and then also, ding, right. ding, yeah. A.J. Shaq. Klein. Uh, no, Shaq Thompson. Shaq Thompson was there, but so was A.J. Klein. A.J. Klein was there. So Shaq Thompson, ooh, I, I don't know. Shaq Thompson is... The style of player, I think, is more, more. compared to Edmonds. Edmonds. Right. And Milano is more comparable to, to Keekley. Right. But the roles that Edmonds plays is Keekley's role, obviously. Right. Yeah. So it's it's fascinating to right. see that dichotomy. And the one thing that you don't have right now is that veteran linebacker. Like, they had a 32-year-old Thomas Davis. Yeah. You know, in one of the few seasons he was healthy. Which started was 16 Zoe, games. Which was so. Right? And he's gone. So, so, well, that's why I'm saying I still kind of expect to see them sign I, somebody. Go. You know, when yes. we talked about the free agent episode that we recorded yeah. earlier today. Yes. That, that's that's what I mean. I still kind of expect to see that veteran it. linebacker. I love it. Um, all right, next up. Oh, uh, cornerbacks. Um, Peanut Tillman. 33-year-old Peanut Tillman? Yep. Norman. I know Norman was Norman already on the list. I know Norman was already on the list, but the fact is Norman was 28 at the time. Okay. So Norman is Trey now. And this old is, Norman. This is now, now. now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so Norman is Trey right. in 2015. Finkel <laughs> is Einhorn. Einhorn yeah. is Finkel. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's. I think that's. Trey where we still are. not signed. <laughs> I like it. I like the, the Peanut Tillman because that's what, Peanut Tillman wasn't playing very much man. No. Uh, he was a veteran guy brought in. Everyone questioned why they brought him in, mm-hmm. but he was yeah. a great addition. Yep. And Pia Tillman actually had a huge impact on the secondary a couple of years ago. They brought him in during training camp to teach people how to strip sack. He did. And the Bills were phenomenal at it. They, they generated a ton of fumbles. This was McDermott's rookie season yes. as a head coach. 20... Hasn't been back since, so I don't know 17. what the deal is. I would have expected to see him back at some point, but that's whatever. Fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, so I think that Tillman, who was 34 at the time, that's now Norman. That's your um, Norman. Okay. That's your Norman. And Trey is now comparable to when Norman was in Carolina. Norman was considered, widely considered for Defensive Player of the Year yep. and considered the best corner in the league. Right. Yep. Much like Trey. Very true. Moving to your safeties now. Roman Harper is not wrestling. Um, and Kirk Coleman. Kirk Coleman? How many games did he start? 15. Kirk Coleman. Kirk Coleman started, started 15, 15 games. games. Well, I Current think, Buffalo Bill, Kirk Coleman. Yeah. I think that the comparison of Hyde, Hyde and Poyer. But wait, how old was Harper? 33. And Tillman was? thirty. Tillman was 34. Kirk Coleman was 27 at the time. So wait, does this, does this bode well for Hyde and Poyer? Whereas mm-hmm. maybe Hyde will get an extension next year. Because they feel that these guys, yeah. if they're productive, they can be productive into their mid thirties. Yeah, I agree with that. So yeah. right, right, you, pay, you pay Poirier now because I mean, let's be realistic; it wasn't very even. What they no, were no, asking no, Poirier no. to do, no. well, it was not very even. Well, and, my, my, and Hyde has sneaky good stats because teams mm, do not want to throw deep on Micah don't. Hyde. They do. He does not get caught up in the nonsense. He can cover up if Norman does have to play man. Right. If they go single high Agreed. with him, he can Agreed. cover him up. But. It's it's interesting to see that dynamic of how the, it plays out, where we always put the cap at 30. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know why. But safeties is a little different, well, though. Realistically, no, no, on any player. I mean, I always put it at 30. Running back's a little bit less, but you got to think, when they graduate and they get drafted, they're 22. They've already been in the league eight years. Right. That type of, you know, wear and tear <laughs> on your body would, would beat up anybody. However, like you said, a safety. But Poyer's not in that discussion. As far no. as the safety, because the guys had a hundred tackles the last two right. seasons. So, but I like that. That's very interesting that you bring that up. That Tillman and Harper were both thirty-three and thirty-four. Mm-hmm. That shows the longevity in this defense, right? Yep. So, yep. Well, it's all about leveraging players' strengths. I think McDermott understands that, and that's sure. why when you look at the offense that Carolina had, and you look at their starting receivers, Corey Brown and Ted Ginn were their two starting receivers, and they went fifteen and one. Yeah, I wonder why why McDermott wasn't pressing to get wide receivers. They didn't even right? have a thousand yard rusher, did they? Uh, well, I mean, Jonathan Stewart had nine eighty nine, so I mean, you want to split hairs? 
Well, it's, it's fascinating to see that you don't have a 4,000-yard passer. Yeah. You don't have a 1,000-yard rusher. Right. You, you don't, don't have even a have a thousand yard, yard receiver. receiver. Yeah, I mean, so, I think their leading recept their their leading guy was Greg Olson. Greg Olson had a thousand eleven hundred yards that season. Oh, he did. Okay, yeah. so Greg had like Olson seventy was, catches that way. Right? Yeah, seventy seven catches. He had just as many receptions as Ted Ginn and Corey Brown combined. That's but that was the offense. But that's why we can't compare the offense right yeah, to it's back then the because it's it's yeah. not even close. Wow, that is fascinating. Is that it? defense is so comparable. But you see, there's no rush here, right? So when you no. see them signing free agents, it's okay that they're signing, you know, an older Mario Addison because you brought it up. Mario Addison, how many games has he started? Uh, in his career? 51. Right. 47 of them in the last three years. That's what I mean, yeah. right? So it's – the age doesn't bother them. They want that mix of age. Yes. They, they want to sign these veteran players who can walk in, pick up the system right away – and draft. And then if the kids don't work out via draft, then they're, they're already covered. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They're already covered. The one thing that I don't see on here is like a true pass rush guy. Because you look at Jared. Jared Allen was a true pass rush, pass rush guy. So I don't want to downplay that. Well, that's the way McDermott liked it. He right. always liked these guys that, okay, can you generate consistent pressure with four? Right. Even if you don't get the sack, we're, we're dropping seven in coverage. We'll, we'll do something. Right. Yeah, and we'll, if they do catch we'll it, generate peanut pressure somewhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That <laughs> peanut dough will just force the fumble. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but they they were good at generating pressure from all different angles, and that's why Shaq Thompson was such a big piece to that. Mm. Was because he gave the ability for Thomas Davis to go hunt. Rookie, right? a, yeah, rookie Shaq Thompson, mm-hmm. a rookie Shaq Thompson. Yes, he let Thomas Davis go on because at that point in his career, Thomas Davis, much like Zoe, he was very good going forward. If you yep. had to ask him Don't him ask lateral. Yep. He just wasn't as good as he was right. in his younger years. That's that's right. that's the nature of the beast. Yep, that's exactly true. All right, so so what conclusion have we drawn? The free agent signings the Bills have made fit perfectly in step with the theory that was installed against 2015. In my opinion, you look at the theory against 2015 it's Carolina Panthers defense. This is what we know works. This is what I know works. And you look at the free agent signings, you're like, okay, all these make, make a ton of sense. Carolina, you disagree? Car- I don't disagree at all. I think it's I think it's fantastic because then it sets a precedent of where they might go from here. Right. So remember, they lost. Josh Norman after that, and then the defense fell apart. Sure did. So you can bet they're going to pay Trey White. 